I'm here at BMW's booth at CES 2019 outside in the parking lot and uh, as you can see obviously we need to be outside because cars and motorcycles. So here at BMW they're doing some demos with the X7. So as you can see the cars are doing some fancy tricks behind me. We'll get into that and I'm going to go for a ride in that in just a second. But before that the riderless motorcycle. Now this is pretty insane when you watch this with your own eyes just take a look and see it is riding itself so obviously this isn't going to be a real product this is something that BMW is going to be using to kind of optimize and get a lot of data about how the motorcycle rides and then feed that back to help develop better safety systems so the motorcycle can do pretty much anything that it would if you were riding it like normal so it can stop and start on its own you'll be able to change gears use the clutch and everything and will take corners really really easily so it's kind of crazy just to watch it do its own thing so this is going to be in hopefully some safety systems in motorcycles in the near future but for now it's not going to be a real product just enjoy it driving itself and just have your mind blown by what this looks like you ready Tommy I am ready right. what are you going to show us today well we're going to experience the new uh, all new BMW X7 obviously um, in some some situations, scenarios, uh, obstacles here that you probably wouldn't normally take any BMW in. Um, but this one, it can do it. This one can do it. <laughs> it's not uh, necessarily built to do it, but it can do it. And that's what uh, makes it so awesome. So you can see, obviously, uh, the initial look of the vehicle is all new redesigned and uh, uh, from anything else they've ever had. So um, in my opinion, it's got a great uh, great look to the interior, and uh, it's, uh, it's pretty easy to use. You can see we've pulled up our... Uh, our X view, our inclometer here, showing some different angles and stuff oh, that we're going to experience. So that's going to come in handy when we're up on those ramps. Exactly. And right. We've got our ride height to the highest setting. We can adjust that now. Uh, it's the first time in a long time we've had fully adjustable ride height there. Mm -hmm. So let's uh, let's right. see this thing. Let's do this. So first up, we've got our uh, uh, offset ramps here. We're going to use and the oh. X drive system itself is going to be exercised quite a bit in this case because in a minute we will eventually have only two tires touching the ground as we teeter across so oh yeah um, when we get to this point you'll feel one of the tires will come off the extra drive system will very yep. smoothly engage the opposite tire that still has grip uh, to keep us moving right along and we're just gonna go real slow here and mm -hmm. see what kind of balance we can Whoa, get. Whoa we are we are on an angle there. Yep we're flexing out the oh. suspension uh, as <laughs> they would say. kicking in. <laughs> so the other thing that's cool about this, right about here, you can feel it bouncing around on two wheels, yeah. right on two wheels right there. There's a lot of torsion in the body right now. So with our unibody structure in these cars, um, it creates a lot of rigidity. So even here, we can open those back door or the right side doors there and they close smoothly. Oh. The hinges line up. There's go. no, yep. no flex in the unibody or anything like mm -hmm. that, which is pretty cool because sometimes an SUV or something like that, you might end up with a lot of. Uh, twist in the body and sometimes the doors don't even align right when you get the suspension torqued up like this so obviously this thing is nice and stiff so we'll slowly come down the other side here bounce <laughs> to the other end the right rear tire is way off the ground there I feel like I need to be holding on I mean I feel very safe but at the same time I know this is not a usual driving situation <laughs> correct yep so up next we're gonna experience some lateral angle and we've got our ramp here we're gonna get on two Way wheels. Way up on two. Well, Ooh. I hope we don't go on two wheels in this one. Because um, that would mean we were flipping over, but we're not going to do that today. We're going to get it way up here, close to maybe 20 or a little more degrees wow. of lateral angle. I, f I, feel like, I feel like I'm on the road. <laughs> yeah, and so it's you can crazy. see here, 21 degrees, 22, 22. degrees. So um, what's awesome about this in a, a vehicle this size, BMW always strives to have a great balance. And the, the center of gravity being as low as it, as it can be in this thing allows us to do this with really no risk of rollover or anything like that. I would say we're well within reason. So you could even go a little higher probably, but I don't want to be the driver that finds where the limit is exactly. because that I, means we did flip, right? Exactly. <laughs> well, I mean, so theoretically we could stay at this angle all day. We could hang out here for a long time until the blood rushes to one side exactly. of our body. Exactly. And then I'm starting to feel sick. So right. we won't do that. We'll we keep on moving. <laughs> so we're going to cruise on off this one here. And obviously, uh, it's, uh, like I said, most people would never do that to their 
their BMW, but... But you can. You can. That's the thing. It's a great way to experience it. Now, the other thing I like to always point out is BMW does a really good job of creating the ultimate uh, ultimate uh, driving experience in all of their cars. They all have a very similar feel. This is a big vehicle making this tight corner. Um, with some of the stu stuff they put into their bigger vehicles to make it feel like you're driving a, an M2 or something would be like the rear steering assist in this thing is helping us make it around that tight corner. So actually as we're cornering at a low speed, the rear axle is turning the opposite direction to keep us going around there. So up next, we've got the rollers here. Oh, this is scary. So again, the Intelligent X drive is going to have to work overtime. As we get onto the rollers, they're free spinning. So mm -hmm. we're going to have to keep it going. And eventually the uh, opposite corners are going to grip up and the power will be transferred across the axle as needed to keep us moving along. So. All right, let's, yeah. let's do it. I feel like this is a roller coaster for cars. <laughs> so this is and Right this here is we start stupid. free spinning. Okay. Well, yep, I felt that. Yep. No that, that was no smooth. transition, yeah, it's very yeah. smooth. Okay, so I'm going to listen Ooh. a little bit to my spotter here. <laughs> so now we're looking at the sky. <laughs> and one of the features I'm going to point out to you here is our start off assistance. So all BMWs have this. If you're stopped on a hill, now obviously normally it wouldn't be this extreme, you can actually, you're given three seconds to take your foot off the brake and go to the throttle to start moving forward without rolling back. Right. So that's a feature in all the wow. uh, cars. So I'm gonna take my foot off the brake here, go to the gas. It didn't allow us to go backwards. Right. Yeah, no rollback. And we'll smoothly go forward. See, this is what you need in San Francisco Straits because exactly. it's as steep as well, that. Left. And so we're gonna lift our spotter slightly. This is like a roller now, we can't see what's <laughs> down there, so I don't know. I mean, hopefully the ramps are still there, I right? I hope so, otherwise we're going straight down. So I'm going to turn on hill descent control, this button right down here. So in our X7 here, we've got hill descent control that works in a range of 2 miles per hour all the way to 20 miles mm -hmm. per hour. So now that I've got it active, it's going to go to its base speed of 20, or excuse me, 2 miles per hour. And when I let off the brake here in a second, I'm not going to touch the pedals. I'm going to let it do the work to guide us down this hill. On these narrow yep. ramps. So it's going to do it all on it its own. It should do it on its own. <gasps> okay. You ready? I'm ready. It's like that trust game. It is a trust game. <laughs> so here we go. Except we're falling forward. Yep. Off Ooh. the brake completely. I'm not touching the pedals. <laughs> this is, we're almost vertical. It feels like that. Wow. So I can adjust my speed there through the cruise control dial. Wow. Obviously, we'll keep it at the low speed, but that's a, a handy feature if you live anywhere where there, like a you mentioned, in Texas, a lot of hills. Wow. If you're driving at a range that's below 40 miles per hour, you can adjust that and it'll kick in very smoothly to guide you to the set speed. Anything above 40, it'll automatically knock uh, hill descent control back off, so that way obviously it doesn't break you from a higher rate of speed. So extreme, Tommy. That was there amazing. You Thank you for yeah. taking us around. Nice to meet you. You too. Absolutely. So that ride was absolutely crazy. Honestly, at times it was at like 26 degrees on that incline and it actually felt both really comfortable and really terrifying, which is a real testament to that technology. So that's all from the BMW booth. Make sure to stay tuned to CNET for lots more coverage of